Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to my YouTube channel, Esoteric Cloud Surfer here, where I talk about sun in cardinal water or cancer, and I wish you the best thoughts, ideas, feelings and emotions, a whole bunch of individuality, creativity and responsibility as well. Let's get started. So, sun in cardinal water, also known, mostly known as cancer, but I don't really like that name, so I create, I created, no, I'm using, I'm using right now, cardinal water, or you can also use the crab, it's a good animalistic representation of this energy. So if you have sun in cancer, what does that mean? It means that you like to pay attention to, you like to express yourself, you see the world in this way, and that's how you also like to act and to show, not just act naturally, but act as in to show something to others. You know what I'm saying? And you like to do all of this in new, creative, emotional, sentimental, and spiritual, and also subconscious ways. All right? And we'll go explore a little bit, give some real examples as well. And if you want to know more about your sun in cardinal water, or about any other alignment, I have tarot readings, I have natal chart readings, and I have as well live tarot readings and live natal chart readings where you do a personal conversation with me. It's everything is on my Instagram and on my Discord that you can reach using the links and the description and the link tree in the description down below. And by you having the sun in cardinal water, you have to know the general energies that you carry, okay? Because then you use it on your own way, but those are the main tools or the main things that you act upon or the main reasons, okay? Or the main purpose and meanings or how you do it, okay? Is it in accordingly to this general concept, which is cardinal water, okay? Creating new, which, uh, that's cardinal. Feelings, emotions, connections, holding on, taking care, that's water, okay? Then, Cancer, cardinal water, is ruled by the moon. So that involves, again, with feelings, emotions, but in a more consistent way, okay? So it boils down to privacy, security, safety, your attractions, your manifestations, your soft spot, your heart space, for an example. And then, it's uh, Jupiter is exalted in Cancer, so that means that you might go a bit too far, or you might attribute too much reasonings, meanings, purpose, purpose, and uh, spiritual concepts behind your actions, your worldviews, your relationships, and then the constellation of Cancer was born out of the fourth house, which means that you're always going to see the world and act through this lens of family, familiar places, comfort, uh, stability, something that you can go back to, go, go back to and feel uh, welcome and feel recharged and feel safe. You know what I'm saying? So by default, you create new ways to be and express your feelings, your emotions, and those will mostly be new as well. It, it might be a, about the same thing, it might be about the same person, about the same situation, but you create new feelings and new emotions that go back to that same space, all right? And also, it's very important to look at the Jupiter energy of your sun sign. It's not a direct correlation like Sagittarius and Pisces, but it's important as well. So you also create new ways to express, act, and show others new dreams, new illusions, new experiences, new travels, new ways to travel, new vehicles, new wisdom, new knowledge, new meanings, new purpose, and new feelings and emotions behind your actions and behind the new states that you push forward. All right, keep that in mind. It's very spiritual, it's very in the mental realm, but not logical, because the logical mind is a part of your main mind, but it's very also subconscious 
and you are very good at seeing new things in your subconscious realm and you are very good at expressing them or bringing them to light. Although you might lack the wisdom and the emotional intelligence of your water sign cousin Pisces because they are directly ruled by Jupiter. So they have that wisdom, they have that knowledge, they have that ability to travel and expand while you are learning how to do that in the right way, in the sufficient amount of time, energy, how you put into it, in what to expand, okay? But the thing is, on the other side, you having a cardinal water cancer sun, you can create a new, never seen before way to use Jupiter, to use wisdom and knowledge, or a completely new way to create or to access wisdom and knowledge, okay? And I just want to touch this point, which is in Tarot, Cancer is associated with the chariot, a vehicle, right? And you, when you create new feelings and new emotions, and uh, also keep in mind that you might be, in the negative way, a reproducer, a repropagator of new feelings and emotions. Because Cancer Moon is really, you really create new feelings and new emotions. But with Cancer Sun, you might just create new expressions or create new actions using the same feeling. So you, you can take somebody else's feeling and act in a new way about it. Or you can create new actions based on the same emotional state that you was, was in previously. Right? But also, in conjunction with that, you have to also be aware that you might confuse your son, your wants, your actions, your expressions, and your worldviews. You might confuse that with what you need, what makes you feel comfortable and secure, because Cancer Cardinal Water is also, or not also, it's ruled by the Moon, and the Moon is the closest celestial body close um, to our body, right? So its influence is the strongest, so you might see that, okay? And you might think that's your son and vice versa, okay? So keep that in mind. Sometimes, especially cancer men, they are too much emotional. They are too internal, too insecure, too hand, uh, uh, like looking for the world to do something to them or for them. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Let's get into some real examples, some characteristics, okay? So, first, you like to pay attention, act, express, and you want to see or to be seen in new emotional and spiritual ways. And due to it being out of the, born out of the fourth house, the constellation that rules your son, you like comfort, relationships, home, family, and familiar places. You like to initiate new ways to look to those things. You like to initiate new ways to act in those things. And you like to initiate new feelings and new emotions. And not only that, because it goes beyond just creating new feelings and new emotions, you can create new ways to see feelings and emotions. Okay? Because let's say somebody else is stuck on an emotional state. You as a Cancer, you have the ability to see that in a new way and then express it to them and you help them get out of the emotional state that, or mental state or spiritual state that they were stuck in. So the, the Cancer energy in itself is like uh, moving water. You have the ability to purify, you have the ability to make things flow and move forward. But specifically on the emotional, subconscious and spiritual realm. Because then you have Capricorn, real realm, Aries on the imagination and spiritual realm, Libra on the logical realm, all right? So, you yourself might get stuck though, and you might get too comfortable in certain spaces, relationships, or feelings, because you can continuously create new visions, create new reasonings, create new meanings behind those situations that you are stuck in, and by you creating all those new things, it keeps you attached to that. 
it, and it, you keep telling yourself, oh, that makes sense, but always in new shapes and forms, but you are doing the same thing, just in a new way. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you know or you feel that that situation is toxic, but you continuously create a new reason, a new meaning, or not a new completely, but you update, you refresh them. Okay, so be careful, don't do that. Okay, because as a Cancer, you have the power and responsibility to create new emotional scenarios. So don't, don't create new reasonings to uphold the same emotional scenario for too long, all right? And also, to finish the video, you are great at giving and denying from yourself and others spiritual and emotional support, okay? Because your actions are very impactful. They might not be like everybody gets ah externally, but it affects everybody internally. So you might s say something, you might act in a certain way that makes somebody feel scared or makes somebody feel weird about the great support that you can give or show them. Because sun, light, it's always also about showing. You know what I'm saying? So you can act in certain ways that make others look weird at what can be great emotional support to them. And that's another power and responsibility for you cancers as well. All right? So it's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Follow your individuality to maintain your sanity. Esoteric Cloud Surfer, surfing out.